Now I'm not sure whether this will work or not, but what I've done is taken the logic board from a IBM hard drive and where the motor's ribbon cable for the hard drive would go, I've put the ribbon cable for the BLDC colour wheel motor. So we'll see if we can run it or not. It'll be interesting one way or another. I'll set the camera up in a nice position and plug it in. Nope, not in. There it goes. It is a little bit sticky, but if you spin it up fast, the uh, colour wheel frees up. Oh, it's working though. A little bit of vibration like it's trying to fight something. Something's getting hot. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that one's hot. Um, heatsink. That was made for the R. Uh, let's put that on there like that just to cool it. Because that's very hot. Try it again. Hope I don't kill this board though. Yeah, it's working though. And I believe this has got something to do with uh, either smoothening or softening the light from the uh, arc lamp. Because since that's AC, the light would be a um, bit what's known as dirty in a way. And so that would obviously do something to it to make it uh, usable for the rest of the DLP system. But it's interesting for the fact I can actually run it off of the uh, an old hard drive logic board. I'll unplug it now. I don't want to blow up that uh, processor just yet. Well, that was interesting. Turns out you can actually run a color wheel motor off of a hard drive board. Thanks for watching.